Hi, Undoomed. It's Buffalo Kiz with the air conditioner in the background. How are you? Here's a superficial complaint. Why do you use 25 frames a second? That's not any sort of standard unless you're talking about PAL versus NTSC. During your travels around the internet, you may have bumped into the term toxic masculinity. Ooh, I don't know about that, but you sure go on about it a lot. Yes, you're right. In this one video entitled, What is Toxic Masculinity? It usually shows up in connection with particularly abusive male behavior, so things like harassment, homophobia, sexism, or violent outbursts. What you're describing is just being a douchebag. They can be male or female. Normally you guys lose your shit when you hear a gendered term, but you want to put this one on men just because it's negative? How much do you hate yourself? I don't see how bringing up problems with the way that sometimes men act because of the way they're taught to be in this society has anything to do with self hatred. I mean, unless you think that the original MRAs were self-hating as well because they wanted to have better standards and better ideals for what boys should be taught about what masculinity is. Because toxic masculinity was originally a term coined by men's rights activists. Are you going to do something about your background that moves like... <laughs> But what does it really mean? Oh, I don't know, a new self-flagellation method for you? Could we see your whips in the next video? Now, since there tends to be so much confusion and defensiveness surrounding these two words, I think we might need to start off with a really clear example. You know, something that we can all agree on. You say something we can all agree on, and then you literally bring up someone who splits the country right down the middle. Great going, Einstein. While I have no doubt that all SJWs will vote for the left, I have to assume that you want to reach at least some people outside your echo chamber? Or is this just for the purpose of virtue signaling within your community? So I guess when he says that he wants to bring up examples of people that just about everyone can agree on is an asshole, he should bring up someone who not very many people think is an asshole. Unless you're saying that Donald Trump is a great guy. Okay, yeah, but honestly, I think he needs his own video, so maybe something else we- What do you think you're doing? Okay, that's gonna work. This charming fellow is Biff from the Back to the Future series. Yes, and he's the bad guy of the movie. Of course you're gonna hate him. He's written so that there's absolutely nothing to like about him. <laughs> you must have forgotten that he was trying to bring up an example of someone who everyone thinks is an asshole. <laughs> Hello, anybody home? I think, McFly, think. Okay, so let's start with the word masculinity itself. Very broadly speaking, masculinity is a set of behaviors and practices that have traditionally been associated with men and manhood in our culture, and that includes both positive and negative things. Toxic masculinity, on the other hand, is a loose term that's used to refer to a subset of those behaviors which are harmful or destructive. Well, in that case, when are you going to be talking about toxic femininity? Maybe in a video entitled, What is Toxic Femininity? But we all know that he's probably not going to make a video about that because he won't talk about that subject. And I'll give you credit in that area. But on this video, why would he talk about that? Unless we're expecting a video entitled, What's Wrong with Islam? To constantly talk about what's wrong with Christianity. Or the other way around. It's marked by things like emotional detachment and hyper-competitiveness. Get your cookies off of me! When are you going to get it through your thick skull, Lorraine? You're my girl! Yeah, nice straw manning. Biff is still the bad guy. Yes, as an example of someone who we can all agree uses masculinity to be an asshole. And besides, have you forgotten that this is a movie recorded 30 years ago about something that took place 30 years before that? Have you forgotten that he wanted to use an example of someone who everyone thinks is an asshole? Even if this was acceptable behavior in the 50s, which it wasn't. Actually, it was. And that's the point when we had McCarthyism, and when we added In God We Trust on the rest of our money, and added Under God into the pledge. It certainly isn't now. This is just not a relevant example of anything. It's a relevant example of how things used to be, and how far we've come. 
Squirt, squirt. It's also connected to the sexual objectification of women, as well as other predatory sexual behaviors. It's also linked very closely with aggression, intimidation, and violence. You want to take a poke at me? <laughs> Damn it, Biff! The modifier toxic is used to highlight the fact that these kinds of behaviors carry with them some potentially serious and even deadly consequences. And yet you're using a cardboard cutout movie villain as your example. Are you just tilting at windmills here or what? He's trying to bring up examples of people who everyone, just about everyone, can agree is an asshole who uses masculinity to be an asshole. Much of this type of masculinity is relational, and as such, it's mostly defined in opposition to anything culturally associated with women. Yes, because all the women's is good. All women are always angels, all the time. No exceptions. <laughs> he never said that. Which is why toxic masculinity is driven by this overwhelming fear of emasculation. That is to say, the fear of being perceived by others as feminine and therefore unmanly. Now there's a subject you know all about. <laughs> it looks like you're proving him right in your comment. <laughs> Many of the most popular male heroes in movies are depicted as engaging in at least a few of these toxic behaviors. Yeah. Well, let's both play. But because they're the good guys, their actions are framed as admirable displays of strength, power, and manhood. Wow, you managed to find some sexism in a movie that was recorded 50 years ago. <laughs> For historical purposes, silly. For fuck's sakes, dude, this movie was recorded before women's lib had even happened. So I guess you're fully admitting that women's lib has helped women in the past 50 years. Hell, the civil rights movement hadn't even concluded. Just to make sure there's no misunderstanding, I want to make something absolutely clear. This term is not a condemnation of men or manhood. Yes, it is, because if there's toxic masculinity, then there must also be toxic femininity. But there is toxic femininity, and toxic masculinity feeds on toxic femininity, and toxic femininity feeds on toxic masculinity. Toxic femininity is a completely different set of values. And since you guys won't acknowledge that, it is a condemnation of masculinity. I agree that he's probably not going to ever talk about it. But to complain about him not talking about it in this video, which is entitled, What is Toxic Masculinity, is silly. Like I said, we wouldn't expect a video that's supposed to be criticizing Islam to spend half the time criticizing Christianity. Because again, toxic masculinity only refers to a particular set of harmful actions and cultural practices. Alright, let's study this list then. Emotional detachment is not an inherently negative trait. In fact, you'll need it if you're a doctor or a fireman or an EMT or something like that. Yes, but those are very specific situations. What about everywhere else? I guess you won't talk about that. Hyper-competitiveness, okay? You think the Olympic athletes would have gotten to where they are without that? <laughs> I guess life is an Olympic event. <laughs> so also not an inherently negative trait. Aggression. That's also not inherently negative. You can aggressively pursue justice, for instance. <laughs> Which complaining about that is what you base almost all of your videos on. <laughs> I will agree that intimidation and violence are negative things. And then we have sexual objectification, which is such a nebulous term that it's almost pointless, but I'll at least agree that it doesn't have a positive connotation. And that's the area that I disagree with his video the most. And to finish it off, we have sexually predatory, which again is a very fussy term. What does it mean exactly? But like before, it doesn't sound like a good thing. So the tally is then that about half your points are bullshit. And even according to the way that you're breaking things apart, half his points aren't bullshit. Why would you want to use a term that has a nutritional value of 50% bullshit? <laughs> you mean like most of your video. And none of those behaviors are inherent or biological traits of men. And yet you refuse to acknowledge a female version of that term. Again, yes, he's probably not going to ever really mention the female version of that term in any of his videos. But in this particular video, it's specifically addressing toxic masculinity. 
There's nothing toxic about just being a man, but some men do act in toxic ways. So in other words, toxic masculinity is not something that men are, rather it's something that some men do. For fuck's sakes, you retard, it's something that some people do. <laughs> You'd be hard pressed to find women who participate in toxic masculinity, but you do find a number of women who participate in toxic femininity. All right, so let's return to our friend Biff here. Now, Biff is an obvious buffoon. I mean, he's a schoolyard bully, he's like a cartoon villain. His actions are easy to spot and understand as damaging, because really, toxic masculinity is what defines him as a character. At every point in Back to the Future, there might as well be a giant neon sign hanging over Biff's head that says, hey, this is the bad guy. Well, if you were aware of this, then why the fuck did you use such a stupid fucking example, you dipshit? <laughs> well, in this case, he's not the dipshit. You are, because he tried to say at the beginning that he wants to bring up some examples that just about everyone can agree on is an asshole who uses toxic masculinity to be an asshole. So that's really easy. But things are rarely so clear-cut. In the real world, all kinds of men can participate in toxic masculinity including seemingly normal guys who might also be nerdy or charming or witty or intelligent. Or female, you fuckhead. <laughs> Do you have any examples of women who exude toxic masculinity and not just toxic femininity, which is absolutely a problem that Macintosh won't address? Since toxic masculinity is a set of behaviors and not a biological trait, the real men who participate are not really one-dimensional character archetypes like Biff. It's kind of funny that you don't acknowledge at this point that he has acknowledged all these points that you tried to make earlier that you made fun of him for and called him a retard. And they usually don't do all of the things on the list. Okay, well, sometimes they do, but usually that's not the case. Do you really think Donald Trump is going around beating people up? No, instead he wants his fans to beat people up. There's a mistaken impression out there that toxic masculinity means that everything about masculinity is somehow toxic. But that is not the case. Again, it's just fucking impossible to take you seriously when you will only gender negative terms. <laughs> because men and women are different on a social level and on a smaller level, the biological level. <laughs> In fact, the term toxic masculinity is used very deliberately to try to differentiate the more damaging or destructive male behaviors from more positive male behaviors. And since there are many ways to practice masculinity... Hey moron! Fucking moron! Masculinity is not a religion, you retarded fucking Come stain. <laughs> Beliefs, ideologies, and ways of life are practiced, and this is a cum stain. <laughs> we as men can choose not to engage in the more toxic behaviors and instead choose to pursue more positive, empathetic, and cooperative forms of masculinity. Oh dear God, the religion of feminism strikes again. Why don't you go out and practice your masculinity, you fuckhead? <laughs> yes, feminism is like a religion, but what you said here makes no sense. <laughs>